Hi, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a short tutorial on how to use Power BI to do machine learning. It's a part two of the tutorial. I do not know how many parts will there be, but for this tutorial, we'll be using the new machine learning library, PyCurrent, to do regression. So the outcome for today's tutorial is very simple. Basically, you are using the real estate price prediction data set. It's a well-known uh, data set to do prediction and stuff like that and experiment so let us go through the outcome so basically the x-axis is the distance to the MRT station so as the distance is closer to the uh, station itself the price should go up because of the convenience that it brings to public transport so as you can see the gray color line is actually the actual price so you can see that when the house is closer to the MRT station, it is higher than those that is far away from it. And you can see that the predicted price here is closely similar to the actual price. Very close. So today I will show you how to achieve the outcome for by using PyCurrent. So these are the prerequisites that I covered in my part 1 of my tutorial. So please refer to the previous tutorial for the installation. So in general, you need Anaconda and Python 3 to be installed. You, secondly, of course, you need the PyCurrent package. And lastly, definitely you need Power BI. Okay, so these are the steps you need to take to achieve the result that I shown just now. So easily just go to this website this uh, house pricing prediction data set so you go to this website and you see this csv file just press download and it will be downloaded so i downloaded before okay so from power bi right you open up your power bi go to get data okay csv and you go I install on my desktop over here realestate.csv you open it up okay then load the data in okay so the data is fine in go to the data transform yeah page over here so what i need you to do right uh, is to split the data set into train and test yeah like most machine learning uh, application you need to train your model first before testing yeah so what you need to do is you copy and paste the same data set so for the first data set right we will be using it as the training set so click here click the top rows so we have about 400 rows here so let's keep the top 350 rows for training and next we keep the bottom this is for the test set so for test set we keep the bottom let's say 50 rows for testing yep so let's rename it so you won't be confused okay so it will be test this one is training train set this test data set okay so with this you are done with the train test split okay let's go back to the slide so the first thing you need to do right is to train your model so how are we going to do this i will show you it just require about one two three four five five lines to train your model okay this so let let us go through what does the code uh tells you about so the first part is to set up your environment and import it sorry is to import the packages and set up your uh, current working directory 
So for my current working directory, right, I'm using this directory. So how, how to get this directory? Very simple. So let's say if this is your working directory, just copy and put it here. Make sure you change the single slash to double slash, double backslash. Yeah. So next, you need to set up your environment for to train your model. Basically, um, this code will actually set up the whole environment for you. So some features that I'm ignoring is actually the the in the ID, the latitude and longitude because it is not uh, influential to the house price. And the last thing you need to take note is that you need to uh, put your target. That means your labor as a house price per unit area yep over here so and you notice this parameter here where i put silence equal to true so if you don't do this right uh, you will not actually run on power bi yeah so this uh, important thing you need to put in yeah so by default it's not in la correct so next you create your model you train your model so for this, so for the model that I've created, right, I'm using random forest. Uh, you can refer to the, the PyCurve library to see what models are there. So RF represent random forest. And next, after fine tuning your model, you need to finalize your model in a sense that because when you are training your model, right, it's actually uh, based on 80% uh, train, 20% test. So now, instead of doing the train test split, you now need to retrain your model on 100% data. So you have it here, your finalized model. And lastly, you need to save your model so that it can be used for testing. Okay, so let's do this. So let's copy this, okay, into Power BI. So you go to transform run python script okay then you delete this stop command and paste the whole thing in and you just click okay and you start running so it will take some time so i'll do a time skip over here um, and the result will be out hi all welcome back so after processing your data this is your result yeah because this is a train train data set so it doesn't really matter uh, what is the predicted value because it's not it's not a good judgment to to validate your model based on that so after running this you go back to your um, directory you will actually see this rf model 16052020 so basically it is is where your model is being saved yeah so now right you need to go to your test set yeah, so in your test set, right, you need to run your model that you have just trained. So just refer back to my slides. So this is the code to test your model. It's as simple as this. So what you need to do is to import and set up your environment. And next is to load your model. So this loading of a model, right, make sure that the name is correct. Yeah, uh, this can be any name, but for my case, I put the name of the model and also the date that I trained the model on. And next, you just predict the data set. So let's copy this into Power BI. Go to transform and run Python script. So just key in and let it run for a while. And I'll do a time skip here again. Thank you. Okay, so welcome back. So this is your result. So what I need you to do is to delete this part because it's not useful and open up the result. Okay, so this is your result. So basically, um, most of the columns here are the features. So this is your prediction. Yeah, so now what I need you to do is to close and apply. Yeah, over here. 
Okay, so this is your result after applying. So go to your test data set. And what I need you to do is to find the distance nearest to MRT station. Okay, so for this, right, you will know that you will see that the data type is coming in text. Change it to decimal. Okay. Okay, next, go to the house price per unit area. So change this to decimal so. And lastly, the result also change it to the decimal. Okay, I'll be renaming the attribute so that it's more intuitive. Okay, and once I'm done, I can go to my report and do up the visualization. So I'm going to my test set and I'm going to plot a line plot, a line chart over here. Okay, so for my x axis, I'll be using the distance to the MRT station and make sure, yeah, over here. Then for the y axis, I'll be using the actual price. So what I need you to do is to make an average of the actual price over here and next pull in the predicted value price and change it to average. So okay wait a minute let me do some color change so that you can see the result clearly. So this is the actual price I changed the color change the color over here okay as you can see this is your final result basically the gray color line is your uh, housing price whereas the yellow color line is the predicted housing price as you can see it largely follows the price the actual price around 90% of the time and this is all done within like 15 lines of code and your visualization is out yeah so with this i have come to the end of my tutorial thank you for your time